So guys, Shimmy here back again with the first update on the Pontiac Firebird, which is just our camera uh, the 16 scale from the NPC. Uh, started this on Friday, Friday night, and I don't really got much done to it. And I had said, I'll get a second coat of when it mocked up at the stage at the minute. Uh, all the brown, all the red leather, sorry, is to get a second coat. Um, touch up the black here and there. The engine's done. Uh, to give us a wash and a dull coat just to knock down the shine on the rattle covers and the carb cover. Uh, the built two brackets, one for the alternator and one for this other part here. Um, and then I'm going to give it a, say, a wee bit of a wash down and get the hoses and so forth in and then we'll plumb it for the, the ignition leads and so forth. Uh, the stripper demo has to go in just yet as well. Um, door cards are done, I set the one side. Um, they have all the wee painted to the brown. Uh, only in the black stage now at the moment, so they are. So then, then we all get detailed up and so forth. Um, so, not much done to it, but tomorrow I'll get stuck into it. So, we'll, um, hopefully, we'll get this shell uh, all prep ready for primer. Um, I am going for the gunmetal grey. So, I am with this particular two tone, two -tone interior. So, hopefully, it will tie in well. Um, what I did do is get size. A couple of new kits, they came in on Friday. Uh, one is the AH64D Longbow Tech Helicopter. Uh, I've built this one before, so I have 148 scale. I zoom out a bit here, stay close. Uh, it does build really well. I built it a few years ago, and unfortunately, I got knocked over and broke. Uh, I was beyond my power. So I see this one again, and I got cheap enough, so I got it for 15. Um, there is a bit of a photo etch with it, uh, mainly the machine gun, as you can see here. If I can get this camera to focus a bit better. So, add a lot, a wee bit of detail to it, so it will. Let's see if there's auto focus, auto focus. There you go. So, the barrels, um, I don't know what that is just yet. I think that's an antenna or something. And then they've cut all wee bits and bobs in there. Uh, it's not a bad as I said, it did build before, so it does really build well. It's 148 scale. So it is um, all the one color to on it. I think it's olive drab. Um, I'm nearly sure it's olive drab it's going. It looks a bit darker for olive drab. I don't know what could be wrong. We'll just check the instructions when it comes to it. Um, I'll probably end up putting motors in that there. Same with the day. The 24 scale here done there a couple of years ago. Uh, also got this one and tell you I haven't opened this one yet. Uh, it's the Rebels 25 scale Bel Air 1956. So I have seen this boat before. Um, it does build really well as from what I've seen on some of the videos on YouTube. So I obviously I'm going to build up the custom because um, I do have the 16 scale in this that's built and all it's in the, the display cabinet. Uh, I've done that the blue, pearl blue and pearl white roof. So I'll keep that in its box. I know that um, people have seen the unbox on before, you know, but there's no point me doing one unless somebody wants me to do it. You can drop a line in the, the comments and let me know. <coughs> the, the last one um, I've got which is wanting for a wee and I decided to bite the bullet. I know it's an old kit, that's the Cobra 16 scale, um, so I can zoom out a bit more. The Cobra 16 scale from, I think it's MPC, could be wrong, or AMT, I don't know yet. But it says RFX on the box, so I know it's they're not the original um, ones I brought out. Well, Bobby says uh, opening trunk, bootleg, and so forth. Doors depends what you want to call them. A um, couple of mold lines down it. They all we have to be clean and so forth for the entire one. Uh, copyright 1982. I don't know when that was new to then. I just have to double check on um, the scale mates and see what they come up with. Um, 
The tassels have turned yellow. Um, maybe the sun will bring them up, I don't know. Or I'll just reprint them again. Clear parts, and I just want to keep them in their bag. They're reasonably clear enough, and happy enough for them. Uh, you get two sets of rules with this one. So I don't, don't preference which one you want to use. The bumpers and so forth, windows swearing, uh, router covers, side vents, uh, anti uh, roll bar for just being in the back of the driver. Uh, dice boards all chrome. So imagine there's going to be parts on here that's going to need, need to be de chromed because uh, there's nothing out of it. There's two screws there, two chrome screws. So even the, the sump is actually chrome. And I wouldn't think it would be chrome on the real car. Uh, so everything in here, just double check the thing. Uh, there's a couple of things off the screws, but they're still in the, in the bag. Uh, check all the part numbers and so forth. So everything's there. Uh, your engine and so forth. The tires. <coughs> Back and front tires. Let's say on the Goodyear. Um, Blue Streak Speedway Special. Not bad, they tread it. There's uh, no more lanes anywhere, so it's just handy. Um, then I've got all the main parts here, like the cabin, chassis, suspension, and so forth, and color bits pieces. So, when you cut the hood too, you can put the hood on it or just leave it the, the convertible. Um, we'll see what happens anyway. We'll come to build it. So, I don't know when I could join the building this. Um, I don't know why to start it after the, the firewood or leave it until another day. Because uh, there's still a few kits on the way. Um, 116 scale, oh, sorry, 112 scale, uh, 64 Mustang. Uh, two of them actually. So I'll get them maybe the next week or week after it. But anyway, this is where we are with the firewood. So we have a series starting to come along. Um, I only started there a couple of days ago, as I said. But anyway, guys, I want to thank all our new subscribers who have jumped on board there recently. I really, really do appreciate it. <clears throat> um, for all my hand game videos because there are a few things to attend to so we'll catch up again tomorrow um, I want to thank all my original subscribers too, really do appreciate you guys uh, on another note um, comments uh, mainly from Charlie Mark Charlie when I go to comment on your comments your comments or my videos um, they're no longer available they're just disappearing once I click on them I've checked my spam box in case I'm in bed. I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, it's not that I'm ignoring your comments, buddy. Um, obviously, it's YouTube again acting maggot. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. It's possible you're back. It's just really annoying, pissing me off. And I don't know. Hopefully, it'll, it'll get sorted soon. So, so as I say, Charlie, I'm not ignoring your comments, no, mate. It's not my style. Um, so, anyway, I'll well, start rambling on a bit. So, Guys, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. So, speak to you all soon. Shame we signed off. Bye.